Yoda is quite possibly the most powerful character in Star Wars canon, and undoubtedly the most powerful Jedi. Yoda was a practiced hand at many ancient and complex abilities, but only one could cripple armies and destroy the mental state of literally thousands of individuals under its influence. Today, we will discuss how Yoda nearly single-handedly turned the tide of the Battle of Kashyyyk without ever lifting a finger. In the final days of the Clone Wars, Yoda was sent to the Wookiee homeworld of Kashyyyk to oversee the battle that was taking place there. But upon arriving, although the battle was a bloody one, Yoda refused to fight despite two other Jedi Masters, Quinlan Voss and Luminara Unduli, being involved in direct combat with the enemy. But still though, Yoda refused to get involved in a full-fledged assault, and rather chose to overlook the battle from above. But why was this? Why was it that Yoda, the most powerful Jedi Master alive at the time, refused to do battle on Kashyyyk? In actuality, Yoda did highly contribute to the battle and victory. Although he was never in direct combat with the enemy, he provided tactical support during the battle. But more than this, Yoda utilized the powerful ability known as Battle Meditation to turn the tide of the war. By using this single ability, Yoda was able to bolster the Republic to the point where they defeated the Separatists. But what are the greater details of this mysterious ability? Battle Meditation was an ability only used by the most powerful and knowledgeable members of the Light and Dark Side of the Force. What the ability essentially did was bolster the strength and morale of allied soldiers while reducing the morale of the enemy. In the ancient days of the Sith Empire, Sith Masters would use this ability to send their enemies into an extreme state of fear. As Yoda knew, many battles were won on the mental field before the physical, and the clone troopers as well as Wookiees on the planet needed this mental victory that would translate to the physical. This quote perfectly explains why battle meditation was one of the most powerful Jedi abilities that could ever be used. Every soldier knows that war is more than arms and armor. Every warrior carries an image of impending victory in his heart. When the image shatters to be replaced by defeat, he is beaten but sometimes a warrior receives assistance from an unexpected source. An inrush of light blasting away his fear and despair, releasing new inner strength. Yes, a war is much more than arms and armor. Half of every conflict is the will to win. We are Jedi. We must recognize that the will to win and the power of war are given sometimes by the dark side. And sometimes as dawn throws back the night, victory is given by the light. Above the actual fighting on Kashyyyk, Yoda used battle meditation to turn the tide to the Republic as the clones ferociously fought against the droids. At this moment, the power of the light side of the force was within every clone trooper. Without Yoda using the ability and being present at the battle, the Republic would have likely lost the planet to the Separatists. With sufficient concentration, a Jedi such as you or I can strengthen the hopes of our allies and heighten the fears of our enemies. Thus, what the armies know in their hearts must become true, because they believe it so strongly. In order to use battle meditation, Yoda had to be away from the actual fighting below, as to maintain concentration on his allies and his enemies. Since the enemies the troopers were fighting were droids, Yoda only focused on aiding his allies through the force. Yoda did, however, keep track of the enemy's movements tactically. Because of Yoda's experience and his will in the force, the Republic conquered. Battle meditation was an ability so powerful it nearly toppled the Republic in the ancient days of the Sith, as Sith Lords would make their warriors seem 10 feet tall and make it appear as if there were hundreds of thousands of them. By making their enemy believe the war was already lost, it truly became so. This is the same ability utilized by Yoda and how Yoda could conquer armies. So that is how Yoda won the Battle of Kashyyyk while also refusing to physically fight during it. So what are your thoughts on battle meditation and the fact that Yoda used it during this pivotal battle in the Clone Wars? Also, had you ever heard of battle meditation before this video? End of the video, if you enjoyed and want to help the channel out, be sure to hit the like button. If you would like to see more Star Wars explanation videos and stay up to date with all the Star Wars news from The Last Jedi to Star Wars Rebels, hit that subscribe button. Also, be sure to turn on notifications to see everything as soon as it comes out and to make sure that you become a living holocron today. If you would like to get in direct contact with me, follow me on Twitter where we discuss all things Star Wars and debate with one another on the various topics concerning the universe. If you have any video ideas you want to see explored, leave them in the comments below the video with hashtag suggestion at the end of your comment so I can find it better. If you do end up leaving a suggestion, I really appreciate it and hope to one day make a full video dedicated to your question 
question or suggested topic. Thanks again just for simply watching the video and your continued support on this Star Wars journey. May the Force be with you and have a great day.